Very clever. Thank you. You're more like a comedian. Really? You could be. You think? You could be. Mm. You're right there on the cusp. I'm on the precipice, right? Yeah. Yeah, can you just do that? <laughs> okay. All right. What else do you have? Come on. I have some depressing ones. Could we do that? No, sure. they're not they're not depressing, but they're more thought-provoking. And I have one called Sit Still because it seemed like I have a restless soul. I couldn't sit still for 10 minutes, so God drove me to California to sit around a lot in cafes, in bookstores, in laundromats to think about the meaning of life. It sounds so simple. I thought that I could grasp happiness at every turn, come and go as often as I like, whenever. But every time I get what I want, and it happens more often than I know, even more often than I like, I leave just when the dream begins. I take a first bite, but then I can't stand the inside. I fight tooth and nail to find the perfect tree to pluck a sweet, ripe piece of fruit. But it seems I've taken too many first bites. I've gotten sick. I've made myself sick. I've poisoned myself with too many beginnings, as if there is such a thing. <laughs> I mean, most people are afraid to start things, even paralyzed at the prospect. But I am amused by the challenge and crave it, as if being reckless had a sense of allure. I mean, my creativity has married my hyperactive attention span, and we are in a dysfunctional relationship, heading for a messy divorce. <laughs>